What up with it, your boy Q hollering at you, and today I wanted to share a quick little tip with you. I don't really see it in their marketing material or anything like that on the brochure or the packaging. Even in the uh, manual, I don't think they mentioned it. Maybe they threw it in at the last minute just to make sure they had this particular feature to compete with other audio interfaces, but either way, it's been working just fine for me, and I'm glad it's here. So, without further ado, Virtual outputs are very nice. It's equivalent to Motu's loopback feature or just using the stereo mix on a Windows machine. And for those of you who may not know why it may be useful, if you podcast, you know what I'm saying, you stream games, anything like that, you want to be able to share the audio from the content that you're sharing with your audience as well as have your voice in there as well. And in order to be able to do that, you have to record through either, uh, you know, a feature like loopback, stereo mix, etc. in order to do it. For me personally, I like to, you know, go on YouTube, deep, deep in YouTube and find all kind of nice samples to use in machine. This is my uh, production software of choice. In order to be able to do that, normally I would go here, select my sound output and I would select real tech output and your computer may or may not be different. And then I record a stereo mix here and I'd have the audio interface driving machine and then I would have to turn the monitor to on so that it could so I could actually hear what I was recording but with this audio interface I no longer have to do that what I can do now is a you have to make sure you have the driver installed for this particular uh, audio interface here it is you see an icon like this and you actually don't have to do anything from inside the inter the uh, software itself with that, I'm going to play a little song and you should hear it in the background. And as you can see, it's going to go through my analog out. So let me go ahead and crank that up. Song by my boy Buck C, produced by yours truly. So as you can see, you don't see anything coming through, no sound coming through whatsoever. However, if I go over here and I select virtual out one and two or you could use three and four whatever you want boom and then of course in your chosen dog you might have to take a look at your uh preferences and how you have everything routing with with your particular device when i selected black line audio driver it automatically gave me all the possible op options so you see analog in out one and two analog in one and two those are your physical connectors there then you got four virtual inputs and four virtual outputs so with that all of a guy do is go down here to the sound like I said I've already selected virtual out and now if I play the song boom it's coming right through and of course you can still hear my voice just fine so with that I can hit record and machine and boom I got my audio right there. So that's a very nice feature. I, I mean, I think that's super dope. I haven't seen anybody talk about it for the black line audio interface. I haven't really seen it mentioned, like I said. So I figured this might help a few people out there. And also a few of you who may be looking at purchasing this particular interface. It does have the loop back feature. So hope this helps somebody out. Anyway, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, it's been your boy Q Holland at you. Peace.